Okay, so amazingly everyone actually likes my voice. Oh, really? After that last video, I've gotten a lot of positive comments about it. I'm honestly kind of surprised, but I'm touched too. Really, I am. I just want to say thanks, everyone. That's that's really nice of you. Really, really gentlemanly of you. I've got guys like GF202020, Iron Fury, Roman, Rice Pigeon, Can, Hyogo, and of course Titanium Tiger saying nice things about it. Oh, Rice Pigeon didn't even thought I was doing a mock documentary and said I should use my voice more, so... Thanks, everyone. I honestly want to say thanks to everyone who's commented positively on my video. I'm going to do a slightly longer narrative video with my voice now, just like Rice Pigeon suggested. I used to, used to be fairly camera shy, and fact, I kind of still am. I guess I'm tripping over my lines a little, stuttering and the like. But yeah. Anyway, this video is about a favourite game of mine that's also had a bit of an element of confusion that's kind of baffled me. I'm kind of hoping someone like Melvana might be able to answer for me, just to... Just to make me more certain how it goes. Anyway, it's about Mortal Kombat Trilogy. And this only applies to the uh, CD-ROM version. The PC, DOS, PlayStation and Sega Saturn versions. Because this concerns the classic characters like MK1, Raiden and Kano. Who weren't in the Nintendo 64 version. Alright. For MK1 Raiden, Midway fully reused all of his sprites and animations from MK1. Uh, such as his wind pose and his fatality. Right? That's true, yeah, but how come Midway redid MK1 Kano's win pose and fatality animations? You can see this because MK1 Kano's win pose is just what appears to be MK3 Kano's win pose. They, I guess they probably added the MK3 sprite to resemble MK1 Kano, but they didn't really get Richard DeVigio, the original actor for Kano, to wear the old outfit and do the heart rip move again. I mean, I know they, I know they had him on board in all. In order to read on the Baraka costume and film some extra animations like running and all that, and they definitely had Carlos Pez in her film some extra animations for MK2 Raiden, but I'm still kind of confused by this. It's kind of baffled me, really. Look at how different the heart rip animation of MK1 Kano here is compared to the original game. Why did they change some of Kano's animations? I'm still wondering about that. I know they added extra moves for certain characters like Shao Kahn with the whole grab punch thing, but otherwise. I'm frankly baffled. If you have a vague idea, let me know guys. Thanks again.